I am Dr. Pam Middleton, your virtual holistic pediatrician and women's well-being coach. I help women who are overworked, overwhelmed, and overextended reclaim their freedom and joy by creating a path to become healthy, happy, and whole. So today, I want to talk to you about... Oh, hi, Marianne. How are you? Today, I want to talk to you about the craziness that is going on in our nation. Actually, I guess you can say in our world. And, you know, how you are dealing with that. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people are feeling a lot of stress, a lot of overwhelm, all the things that I just talked about. And, um, and you have to have ways of getting through that. So, um... Tonight, I just want to share like a couple of things that you can do to make sure that you're doing and even share with your friends to help you to get through this time. So the first thing, and you guys will hear me say this a lot, I probably said it last week, is you always want to check in with yourself. So check in with yourself to see what's going on. Hey, Aileen, how are you? Check in with yourself to see what's going on how are you feeling how are you doing you're basically taking like a self inventory because unfortunately what a lot of women do um is we put on the mask and you know we walk around and people go how are you and you're like i'm fine i mean you know like all kinds of stuff is going on uh, inside you're like basically falling apart but you're like smiling going I'm fine because you're so used to saying it. And I've even caught myself at times when someone's like, how are you? I'm like, fine. And then I'm like, no, wait a minute. No, really, I'm not. Um, and, you know, you may not feel like going into it with them, but I've sometimes just said to people, I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. Like, you know, and the way I say it, they can kind of tell that, yeah, she's not her normal bubbly self. But, you know, sometimes people are just asking to be polite, so they may not really want to know why you're not fine. But be honest with yourself, you know, and you don't have to go into a dialogue with that person, but be honest with yourself that you're not okay. And it's something that um, I'm hearing a lot of women say right now, especially a lot of black women are saying, I am not okay. You know, so I'm not going to pretend to be okay. I am not okay. And so it's okay to say that you're not okay. All right? So that's the first thing. That's right, Marianne. Self-check. You want to check to see how you're doing. And then once you assess how you're doing, you know, you want to come up with some things that can help you. And, you know, for everyone, it might be different. You know, for me, my happy place is always going to be near water. So, you know, over the last week or so when I just started feeling overwhelmed, um, if I'm out, I decide, okay, let me just, let me just drive by the water. You know, let me go, let me go to the, to the ocean um, or to the river and, you know, and I'm in Charleston, so there, there's a lot of water around me so I can easily like go to water uh, so you know that's something that I do because I know that that helps me the other things that you can do of course is meditation and prayer that can be very calming and um, you know and like I said you want to find out the things that work for you that will put you back you know into a different place, a better place, I guess I should say. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. Hi, Aisha. All right. And so I'm going to ask you guys in the comments, so how are you guys doing? Like, you know, put down in the comment, like, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Did you do your own little um, self-check to kind of figure out how you're doing? And um, and if you're not okay, um, have you thought of what you can do to improve that? Do you already know what to do when you're not okay? Or do you need to think about that? Oh, Paula says, self-care is the best care. Yes, self-care is the best care. And 
Um, a lot of times as wom women, we really do not do self-care. And you know, Paula, since you said that, I do want to say one thing because it's something that I've always said. As women, a lot of times the things that we consider self-care, it's not truly self-care. I mean, you know, it's, it's fine that, you know, you go and, and get your nails done or whatever, go get a pedicure, but... And, you know, people say, that's, that, that's my self-care, you know, oh, I'm going to get a mani-pedi. But, you know, how long does that take? And how many hours is in a day? And is that the only time you have for yourself? You know, maybe you really need some time to sit and reflect. So, um, so make sure that you're really, really doing true self-care. Because what I found for myself was that I had to find my happy places and wherever I'm living I find a happy place and I regularly go to my happy place and when I know I'm not doing the proper self-care is when I don't have time to go to my happy place or I do like a drive-by my happy place instead of going and, and staying there for a certain amount of time so you know be careful that you don't put yourself last because it's something that women do. You know, everybody comes first. Your children, your husband, your job, your um, community service obligations, your church. But you actually want to make sure that you put yourself first because one of the things that I always tell people, especially with work, because there are a lot of people like, oh no, I got to go to work. Oh, I don't really feel well, but I really need to be there, blah, 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 blah. And the one thing, and I always start everything with myself because the one thing that I have said about myself and that I tell other people and not to try to sound morbid, but if you drop dead today, they will be replacing you very soon. So don't think that you've got to be there at work all the time. If you need a break, you take your break because if you work yourself literally to death, they are going to quickly replace you. But your family and your friends cannot replace you. So, you know, remember, remember that. And in fact, if you guys look at the um, Darman post, he actually did have a nice story about that that I have to find because I think I saved it and so I'm going to share that story because it was a very powerful story about a woman who did just what I said she never had time for herself she was supposed to be going to the doctor to um, you know to get checked out because she found a lump or had a pain in her chest or her breast and she kept on putting it off because other things kept on coming up and you know by the time she went in it was basically too late and so all the people who she had to do these things for were actually going to now lose her because she never did take the time to put herself first so make sure that you're doing that so make sure that you do a self-assessment um, and make sure that you do proper self-care and find out what it is that you need to do to get yourself, you know, back in a safe spot, a safe place for you emotionally, mentally, okay? All right, are there any questions about anything? You ladies have anything? Anybody has anything they want to share? Oh, wait a minute, I couldn't see what you guys wrote in the comments. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, so Aisha said, doing okay, struggling with working from home with the toddler. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that is not easy. Marianne loves the water. Yes, it's very peaceful. Very peaceful. Paula says, amen. Marianne says, I'm a business owner, wife, mother, grandmother, pastor, daughter, sister. Yep, yep, yes. So yes, you want to take care of yourself first. That is true. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. You like my hair? Thank you. Okay. So with that, you guys, I am now going to go and take care of myself. <laughs> I am going to get some rest and relaxation. And I have a few things to take care of. But I'm going to make sure that I take care of myself. My big, I guess I will share with you my biggest issue that I struggle with. It's going to bed 
early so that I get the proper amount of sleep. So I am going to finish the task I have for today so that I can actually go to bed on time. And, you know, that's like a whole nother talk, but I'm just going to briefly say that sleep is very, very important. And I will come on and, and speak about sleep and the importance of rest in the future. But don't don't um you know don't forget about that it's very important so don't sleep on the sleep okay all right ladies well with that i'm going to bid you good night i am dr pam middleton your virtual holistic pediatrician and women's well-being coach i help women who are overworked overwhelmed and overextended reclaim their freedom and joy by creating a path to become healthy happy and whole so you take care and you be well, ladies. Bye-bye.